did you know that timing is crucial when it comes to the plan b and ella or ella one morning after pills for so long you've been told that after unprotected sex take the morning after pill as soon as possible afterwards to prevent an unwanted pregnancy and that is correct but there's a little bit more that you should know about the right timing to use them and failing to consider it may be one reason why your morning after pill doesn't work and you end up with an unplanned pregnancy Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a UK-based consultant in general practice, and this is Ask Away Health. Today, we're looking at one of the commonly asked questions I get on this channel about why the morning after pill might fail, leading to an unplanned pregnancy, even after using these methods as recommended. So this discussion is not just about taking the pill as soon as possible after sex, and that's crucial if you want it to work. It's also about the timing in your menstrual cycle when you decide to take the pill. I found that somehow we don't press that information too often and many ladies simply assume that just taking the pill as soon as possible after sex is a total guarantee that it would work. So there are a lot of us who are sexually active but not prepared for the joys or challenges of motherhood and don't have an effective way of avoiding an unplanned pregnancy. And this might be for different reasons but whatever the case, when that situation happens, there's a lot of panic after that big moment in the sky of unprotected sex. And by the time you come down to earth, Many, many questions begin. What have I done? What can I do? Will it work if I do this? Looking for ways to prevent mother nature's next steps. And this is when most women will reach for the morning after pill in the hope that it will do the trick. But there's always a panic about whether it will work after you've taken it. Plan B and Ella are both hormone drugs that affect the movement and release of a mature egg and the menstrual cycle. Plan B is the human-made hormone progesterone. Other brands you might know it by are post pill, take action, Levonel or Postinol. Progesterone morning after pill works mainly by delaying or preventing the release of the mature egg from the ovary and this delay is usually for five days. On the other hand, Ella is not exactly a progesterone but it works in the body in such a way that the effect is similar to that of a progesterone with some slight differences. Now I do describe Ella a lot in another video on this channel so if you want to learn more please go and check that out. But one of those differences is that Ella gives you a bigger window of protection than plan B making it more effective as a morning after pill. Some scientists believe that progesterone hormone in the morning after pill may also be able to make the mucus from the cervix a bit thicker making it more difficult to sperm to travel or even make the womb a little bit less easy for a fertilized egg to implant. In the progesterone morning after pill, these methods are less reliable. Its primary method of working is by delaying ovulation. And it's essential to remember this when considering how these pills may provide protection when you take. So to explain the issue of timing, let's have a look at the menstrual cycle and particularly the first half of the cycle, which some of you might also know as the follicular phase. Within this half of the cycle, you've just completed your menstrual period and a new egg is gradually maturing under the influence of some hormones known as FSA and LH. By the time the egg is mature, a message is received from the brain that it's time for that egg to be released from the ovary. At this point, the levels of LH suddenly start to rise and this is known as the LH surge until they reach the highest point or peak and it is at this LH peak that ovulation happens and that mature egg is released from the ovary traveling slowly into the fallopian tube. It usually has a lifespan of between 12 to 24 hours, that is the mature egg, once it's been released. Ovulation happens once every month and once we get to that hormone peak, it can take about 6 to 12 hours for the egg to be discharged from the ovary and enter into the tube. So despite whatever your fertility app is saying and whatever symptoms you're having, it can be tricky to pinpoint the time that you ovulate even to the exact hour. And ovulation may not even happen at the same time every single month. So it may be a little earlier or a little bit later the next month. It could also be affected by things like illness or stress. So we can't really predict a woman's ovulation time or date with much precision. If you've had sex, the sperm in the vagina can take about six hours to travel up to the fallopian tubes. This is usually where fertilization happens and they can survive within the womb for five days after sex. So if the egg meets live, healthy sperm, then there's a potential for fertilization and therefore pregnancy. If that doesn't happen, the egg dies and within a few more days, it is shared with other parts of the womb tissue that your body had been preparing just in case you got pregnant 
as menstrual blood. But let's take it back to the maturing egg before ovulation happens. This is the timing issue that you don't often hear too much about. And if you've been paying very close attention to this class, you would have caught something. The morning after pills, Ella 1 and Plan B, Postino and so on, they're designed to delay ovulation. So they work before ovulation. Many women come to ask, will the pill work if I take it on ovulation day or after ovulation? Well, if you've already ovulated, they're not going to work. And this is a timing issue that we don't talk too much about. But it's really crucial that you understand it because it might explain why the pill didn't work for you. Remember that rise in the LH, that is the LH surge I talked about, which is critical for ovulation. It typically begins 24 to 36 hours before the egg is actually released. Delaying the LH surge is what the morning after pills do. Plan B can delay the surge and therefore the process of ovulation if you take it before the hormone level starts to increase. If the LH surge has already started, plan B cannot delay ovulation. LR1 can also suppress or delay the LH surge. But in addition, even when LR1 is taken just before ovulation should happen, that is the surge has already started or the levels have not yet peaked, it can still delay ovulation. And that is why I said at the beginning that Ella gives you a slightly bigger window of protection than plan B and is more effective because you can take Ella closer to ovulation day or the time of ovulation and still have a fairly good chance of it working while plan B would have stopped being able to delay ovulation 24 to 36 hours earlier. Plan B is also usually effective when it's taken within the first 72 hours after unprotected sex. On the other hand, Ella can still be used for an extra two days after unprotected sex, making it a total of five days within which you can use Ella to prevent an unplanned pregnancy. So let's make this nice and practical with an example using actual dates. Suppose your app says that you're ovulating around the 14th of the month. Then you guys have sex, say around the 12th or the 13th, both days before your ovulation date. Taking either plan B or Ella would be a good idea, though Ella has a much better chance so close to ovulation. If you have sex on ovulation day the 14th, both methods can't be relied on because they can't delay an event that has just happened or is in the process of happening. And if you take the pills after ovulation, of course they're not going to work because ovulation has already happened. Now, why do some women manage to get away with this? The pill seems to have worked for them even though they took it after ovulation. What's going on there? Well, first, there is the possibility that they may not have gotten the date of ovulation right. Because remember I said it can vary from month to month and sometimes your app is not really as accurate as you think it is when it comes to predicting ovulation. So it's possible that for those girls, ovulation was reliably delayed by the pill. That is, the pill did what it's supposed to do, but they got their date wrong. Next, methods like Plan B may have the secondary effect of thickening the cervical mucus and preventing um, fertilization or may prevent implantation. But please don't rely on this. Another possibility is that you had sex and there was actually no egg fertilization at that time. That is a possibility. We know the risk of pregnancy is highest in the five days before ovulation and the day afterwards, but you don't really want to test that theory on yourself. So in a nutshell, what should this mean for you? Timing is important when thinking about how to use the morning after pills. Taking them at the wrong time of the month, that is after ovulation, will lead to their failure. Even if you've taken them as soon as possible, Possible after you had sex. Regular birth control makes more sense and is more effective than relying on the morning after pills. However, if you do need to use the morning after pill, do so. Take it as soon as possible after sex and at any time of your cycle. This is because remember we cannot reliably predict when exactly you are ovulating from month to month. So you might have a chance of the pill actually working and it's better than doing nothing. If you've got options, Ella is more effective, but don't let that stop you from using plan B if that is all you've got access to. The most effective emergency contraceptive method is the copper coil or the copper IUD. So let me know your thoughts or experience using the morning after pill down in the comment section and if you've got any other video ideas around this subject please share with me i'll be happy to look into them for you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon